So this is uh, me, it's Mark Mockpot from the videos, and I am back after a bit of a some time off. Um, I had something to do with wildfires, something to do with COVID, something to do with getting lazy and fat. So <laughs> we're gonna move on here. Hey, uh, I wasn't even sure I was gonna have enough for a uh, video here, but after I looked at everything, I had some pretty good, I guess, quality over quantity. Um, going on in this dive um, went to an old spot that i enjoy um, it had obviously been picked over since uh, the holiday weekend that just passed and uh, so i didn't get the quantity no sunglasses uh, which surprised me but uh, anyways here we go um nope, more junk i forgot i missed that so I, I did collect a ton of uh, bottle caps and a few cans but uh, that was about it there was not a lot of garbage which is good um, maybe it all got swept downstream from where I was. I'll start out with the biggies here. So, um, nice Samsung phone. Um, looks like it's pretty new. It does not turn on, but that doesn't mean anything. It could be dead. Um, I'm going to dry it up a little bit and plug it in to see what we get. Maybe I can find the owner. Did come up with a, come with a pretty decent OtterBox cover. Um, it doesn't look that old, and it doesn't look like it was bounced around too long on the bottom because it's oh wait a minute maybe there's a crack right there mm, yep there is a crack in it right there it must have hit a rock i was about to say it came up unscathed because there's not very many scratches in it but um that's not the case anyways samsung phone 128 gig i think i read on there somewhere let me see if i can see it real quick um yeah i don't know how to read that <laughs> It does say 128 gigabyte, so I guess that's some memory. Um, I did find a bit of fishing gear, but this is actually all I have left. Oh, that and this here. I'm not sure what I got on video because in the places I was finding this, the current was really strong. And then at one point, I actually dropped this when I was putting something in it. And uh, it was open at the time. And the current swept it downstream. And by the time I picked, managed to grab it again, it was empty. So I didn't feel like looking for a bunch of... Uh, bunch of weights and a few lures so i grabbed it and kind of got out of the current and kept my hunt going i did find these and they were not too close but they look about the same vintage i guess for the river which is fairly recent drop probably you know over the weekend which is two three days ago um, i don't know much about them um, or even if they're they work afterwards or not but maybe i'll ask a guy i know who does actually vape and we'll see. Um, found a watch, an Armatron. Still working. And as you can see, the date right there. Or can you? No, you can't. What is that? I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at there. Thursday the 7th? That'd be right. So, um, anyways, there you go. Armatron. Again, looks like it's like it was worn by a child, or, or I guess a woman could have worn it, but it looks more of a manly watch. I don't want to go judge in there, but. It's a very small band. Uh, moving on, somebody's ear gauge. Ew, I don't know. <laughs> cheap old beads, a couple of golf balls, so that is an official dive, yay. Um, didn't get many of those last year. Of course, they didn't dive that much last year. And then, oh, the loop here is actually, because I was trying to find, this had markings on it. It's uh, like a belly button ring or, or a nose ring, I guess. Um, yeah, don't know how I ended up finding that, but I did. Um, so I guess I was just lucky I saw it. Uh, it does say 925, and then I believe it says, I believe it's PFA, 925 PFA. It's really, really tiny um, writing on there. Um, even, even with the loop, I was not able to really get a good view. Um, and then I guess the find of the day, the one I like the best would be this magnet. Um, it just looks like somebody had just started using it uh, the rope looks pretty brand new the uh, magnet doesn't look all scratched up too bad so i had an idea here and so this is going to how i'm going to start off the first video in a while giveaway we're going to give away this uh magnet it's the last time i gave one of these away and it seemed to be a pretty popular thing um so forget what they call these rare earth magnet i guess but uh this one does say has a nice uh 304 stainless uh, 
eye bolt in it and they did a nice job putting it together and has a decent clip I guess you just got to hang on to the rope it has about 70 or 75 feet of rope with it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway video for this so it'll be a second video coming just for that I don't want to do it on this one because it's kind of like an introductory back in action kind of video so look forward to that anybody wants to win that just keep in mind that another video is coming soon and I guess that's it um, yeah so I'm back not sure how many videos I'm going to get out this year. I have a very busy year going on outside the water. Um, and then my really great Genesis uh, scooter that I use, uh, DPV, Diver Propulsion Vehicle, is actually at my friend John's shop. He's the guy who builds them. Um, you guys can look them up. Genesis 600 is my model. Um, but it's actually going in. He's, he offered to put new brushes on the motor because mine sounded a little bit noisy, he said. I take his word for it since he's the guy who builds them. Um, he did just go through my batteries for me and gave me all a whole new brand, brand new battery pack, which was great. Um, so, John, thank you very much. And you guys like the DPV, it's Genesis uh, 600. Um, so you can look that up online if you're interested in it. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. Sorry I got really wordy, but it's the way I do it. You guys take care and uh, hope to see you in the water sometime.